Hi, Gemini. How are you? I hope you guys can hear me fine. I don't know how this mic is working. I was popping with the mic, so I hope everyone can hear me. So, Gemini, we're going to go ahead and start your reading and see what's going on with you and your person, okay? Gemini, please. What's going on for Gemini? Sorry, you guys, you might hear noises and stuff like that. I'm not home, so, you know, Florida is just really crazy, okay? <laughs> it really is that crazy. All right, Gemini. What's going on for Gemini, please, angels? Thank you, angels. Thank you, angels. Wow, Six of Cups. Gemini. There is like this real strong pull with this person that's coming up. If you can't stop thinking about this person, I feel like you feel like this person has abandoned you. That's what this is. Like they're the funny thing that you don't know that this person is coming back to you. You feel like, okay, they abandoned you. I feel like this person regret this and they're moving back to you. All right. This is someone that you're not telling how you truly feel. Okay. About like you're keeping your feelings hidden because this person actually harmed you. This person actually made you feel like, you know, something, I feel like they, they like really devastated you here. Like embarrassed you. That's what I'm hearing. And you did not see this coming in the five of swords. You guys, like you saw this person like they were the one, like you really wanted them, you really wanted to be with them. That's what I'm feeling here. And this came out of nowhere. And I'm seeing a lot of comfort around you. Like people are trying to comfort you as much as they can. Um, but you know, it's it's your life, so you're just gonna bring people in who you feel comfortable with. But I'm feeling like this person really embarrassed you in front of a lot of people. Like people are telling you not to do this, not to be with this person. But again, it's like the strong pull. You can't help this. You know, you and this person feels the same way about each other when it comes to feelings and emotions. But the truth is this person, you know, for some reason devastated you here, devastated you here. And they kind of love differently. Like they're in a different place in their life as than you are. That's what I'm seeing here. There's no movements. They're waiting for you to do all the work. And I'm seeing blockage here. This person and you could have been together. Sorry for the noise. This person and you could have been together for a very, very long time, honestly. And you decided to just end this in the Queen of Swords. You're done with the nonsense here. Done with the nonsense with this person, okay? You want them to grow up. Make a decision. Stop with the the cruelness, the foolishness, but I'm seeing this person coming back to you very slowly. I feel like they have a lot of affection towards you in Cancer, and then we have Pisces in the moon here. All right, tell me more. This will also be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy, you guys. So keep that in mind. Scorpio, Aries. Sorry about the light, y'all. It's going in and out in Miami. I'm dark. <laughs> Let me turn on the light in here. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, yo. I don't know if that's better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. We have Aries and Scorpio in the tower, all right? And I feel like this is example of what happened. Like, it's like you guys just ended suddenly, like, boom. Like, it's just, it was so fast. It was like you couldn't control the situation. So you don't even need to feel bad about this. It's like there was nothing you can do to make things differently. And I just told Scorpio the same thing. Just so short the same thing, you guys. Ooh. Then we have the nine of swords. 
we have the high front. Wow. Oof, I'm seeing tears, you guys. I'm seeing crying. I'm seeing depression. I'm seeing stress. And you don't need to be that way because for some of you, you're waiting for this person to come back and, you know, rescue you and change the day here. And I feel like you just need to relax. You need to let God, let God flow in your life, let the angels flow in your life and just meditate and be at peace because things are going to come into place much faster this way. I'm also seeing like people are guiding you to do certain things or make certain decisions. So you need to be very careful about that, um, Gemini, because you need to make a decision when it comes to this, this situation in your life on your own. You don't need anyone to tell you what to do or what should you, what should you do in your situation in your life? You know what I'm saying? So you need to make a situation for you, but you're going to be happy with, sorry, I hit the mic, you guys. Um, but I'm seeing you tying up this marriage for some of you. This could be a marriage that you're tying up, okay? Like you're deciding to like separate the money, move your way. They move theirs, okay? Whatever bank accounts you got together or family or kids that you got tied up, you want to just leave, okay? Um, but I feel like in this decision is not you making the decisions for yourself. You're making somebody guide you there and this needs to be very, very careful, okay? Then I'm also seeing the five of pentacles here where this person treated you this way. You, you know, cut their emotions off, their walls were up, okay? For some of you, this person could have left you for someone else in the five of pentacles, you know? This is constant. This is not over. You're still dealing with this, okay? Sorry, my eyebrows is one and up and the other is down. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at myself. And that's why I hate looking at myself in the, in the, the um, camera, y'all. But anyways, um... We have the four of pentacles and then we have this not a four of pentacles the four of cups and we have the six of swords in reverse and this person is coming back coming back now when they come back you're going to have a hard time with this because you're trying to move on with your life you want someone else you want to be with someone else but the thing about this is you're waiting for that person to come along before you actually cut all ties off with this relationship that is not fulfilling to you. Like, you know, and you feel there is something better out there, but I'm feeling like you just want to stay in this because you don't want to be alone. That's one. Because again, you have abandonment issues as well. You have abandonment issues as well. You have been alone issues. Like you feel like you have tried many times to be in a relationship and want it to work and it does not work. You know, that's the feeling that I'm getting here, but you want to put an end to this and you are going to eventually walk away from this situation. Um, but like I said, this, is, this decision must be yours because you're going to have to live with it. Okay. You're going to have to live with it. Tell me more for Gemini. Ooh, this flu. Hermit. The hermit. Oh, wow. Virgo energy. The three of cups. Ooh, you got messages, Gemini. Let's, this, this. Okay, angels. Let me do one by one, okay? <laughs> I see what you're doing, okay? Three boy black. All right, so. Let's see, let's see. First thing I'm seeing is three of cups, the nine of pentacles, the high priestess, all right? So, just like I said about your your energy, okay? It's a little off, like you're, you're not trusting your intuition. You're having other people tell you something. And this is something that I'm gonna have to talk about really quickly because the angels want me to talk about this with you. Your energy must be at par par, okay? Your energy must be at 100 when it comes to this change in your life, okay? You cannot make other people determine your future for you. You have to do this yourself. You have to make this decision yourself. You understand? Because this is something that you're going to have to live with. Your energy and their energy is all whack and it's all over the place. You understand? Like you don't need other people to be in your business. You and your person has got issues alone. Alone. You don't need nobody in your business making their two cents about what you should do, what they are doing, you know, and how sh you should do things moving forward. No, you need to go ahead, do things on your own, figure things out. What's out there for Gemini? What does Gemini want? What means, you know, in 
a lot for Gemini. You know what I mean? Go ahead and find this out. You are wise. You, you, you can do this. You don't need people. You don't need anyone to be with. So figure out how you want things. You know, what's important to you? What do you like to do without people being around you? You're going to have a lot of loss into this. Ooh, a lot of loss into this relationship. I'm already seeing it. Like, look, 10 of pentacles, 10 of the nine of pentacles as well in your reading, which indicates money being lost. Money being lost for some of you. Um, you could be losing a job as well. Um, but I'm seeing money, some kind of financial stability being lost, being taken away here. Okay. Maybe both of you live together, share the responsibilities. Maybe this person helps you out with, you know, money. This could also indicate family, children. Okay. Because we do have a soul connection here. All right. And I'm seeing like this person is being very mean, a lot of spending. It's like this whole reading is also about money. You guys, this is I'm getting, like money, money being spended, money being used and not being put back. Okay. Let's see here. Wow. You're going to find out a lot of things, you guys. Ooh, the courts, uh, the courts. So you guys could be going through court issues, going through the court because you can't get to a conclusion on your own. And I'm seeing like, there's going to be like a third party here because your energy and their energy is all over the place. Okay. You're not trusting your intuition. They're not trusting them themselves. Like I can do this. I can make a decision and be comfortable with it. No, I'm seeing a lot of people around them. A lot of people around you guiding you to do certain things. We're going to see a new beginning here. So with this court issue, this could be somebody, this doesn't have to be court, but it's somebody more mature that's coming in somebody more wise like in the high front, but right now the high front is in reverse. So that's indicated. I'm sorry about the in and out light, you guys. It's Miami, okay? That this person, it's like the high front for me right now is this person, okay? You is the high priestess, okay? So you both are in turmoil, okay? <laughs> with your mind, with your mind. And there's going to be an energy that is an older energy, more wiser, more experienced that's going to come in and guide you. And this is going to possibly be a new beginning with something. It could be a very passionate relationship for some of you. Uh, be careful. This could be equals a child if you guys are, you know, can give birth. Okay. But it could also be a relationship. So if you're not ready for that, be careful with that. Okay. Then we have some more messages here from the angels. I'm just going to, Ooh, so confirmation, confirmation. So the angels want you to know, because a lot of you are really thinking about, Oh, um, is this person coming back to me? Yes, yes, yes. They are coming back to you very slowly, but surely all they're thinking about is when they get there, what they're going to do to you period point blank, get ready for this person. Cancer, a lot of emotions here rolling up. Okay. A lot of emotion confirmation that they are going to come, that you need to claim it, you need to believe it, all right? Then we have the 10 of cups here, and look, ooh, it, okay, the angels want me to talk about this new beginning, what's happening here? This is somebody that could be in law, ooh, this is somebody that could be, you know, like, they talk about politics a lot, and they talk about, you know, Libra energy, they like the balance, you know? They like balance things out. So this is a person that's coming to you. Ooh, a new love, a new beginning. This is more fulfilling. This is happy ending. This could be the same person, y'all, honestly. <laughs> but I'm seeing like there is going to be an energy that's coming in that's going to guide you, that's going to help you with this situation. It's all about the situation with the justice, communication, period. Okay? <laughs> communication, y'all. You hear this? Oh, look at this. And then I'm seeing this and then I'm seeing what wish fulfillment, all the plans. I just hope that this person doesn't talk and walk the walk with all these gifts that they're about to give you and this success and this happiness in the nine of cups, and you know, all these wishes that they're going to fulfill for you. Let's see it in the physical world, not just in the spiritual. Let's just not talk about it, wish for it, imagine it, but let's bring it in this the physical world as well, right? And then we have the eight of cups. 
where I just feel like somebody is walking away from this situation. They don't have any faith. It's all about, they feel like somebody is leaving them and not coming back. And I feel like, you know what, if that's what you believe, cool, do that. You know, move on in this relationship, from this relationship, from this tower, um, learn from something that ended. You cannot fix everything. You know, you have to learn how to let things go, especially in the tower. You cannot hold on to something that is broken. You cannot put it, it back together and it's going to be the same after it fell out of your hands and broke and shattered, right? You can glue things back together, but it will never be the same. And that is a tower. You have to let things end for a new beginning to start again. Okay. So this is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope it resonates. And if it does, you guys remember to like the video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist linked below in the description box. And also you guys go over to my Instagram and follow your girl. What? What is taking so long? The Instagram is below. Click on the link. As soon as we hit that 5k, we're going to start those readings over there live free. Okay. Free readings over there on the Instagram. We're almost there. I'm excited. So let's get into it, you guys. And I'll see you in your bonus. Bye, guys.